do question 23 take um, a minute to do it and come back okay I trust you have done it so note what you got and then we'll examine it the prices of all goods in a store were marked up by 20% okay now during a sale a 20% discount on mark prices were was given question how did the final price compare with the price since before markup all right you add 20% to a price you get a higher price then you reduce it by 20% so what you did increase a certain price by 20% then later on reduce the increased price by 20% well if you're not careful you might say that the final price is the same as the original price you might have said a if you're not careful but guess what now when you increase 20% you 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 increase 20 percent of a certain price then you decrease the new price by 20 percent you're taking off a bigger number than what you had put on first time all right now that would tell you that you would have a bigger reduction so the second price would be less than the first final price would be less than the original price but <coughs> let's use some numbers uh, let's say let's imagine imagine that the original price was one thousand dollars price of a good was a thousand dollars it was marked up by 20 percent 20 per which means divide cent mean a hundred off means multiply one thousand is 100 in 200, 100 to 1010, 10, 20 is 200 dollars. You add 200 dollars, so you have 1200 dollars as the marked up price. Then let's reduce the 1200 dollars. Remember, this is the original price, this is the marked up price. Let's reduce it by 20 percent. You take 20 percent off 20 per cent of 1 200 100 into 100 100 into 1 into 1 200 is 12 12 by 20 you know 12 2 is 24 and then you add this your 240 so you have 1200 minus 240 so 0 minus 0 is 0 you have let's say 120 minus 24 you can use the borrowing method or you could just do this this is 120 minus 20 you cut 20 off each and you get 100 flat then 100 minus 4 you know is 96 and then you add the zero that you have here all right or I could have said 1200 minus 240 0 minus 0 is 0 you can't borrow one from 0 I'll borrow one from 2 I get 1 this is 10 10 minus 4 is 6 can't borrow 1 1 minus 2 I can't borrow 1 from 1 I get 0 and this becomes 11 11 minus 2 is 9 and I get the 960 again no problem but here 960 is the final price compared to the original price it is less right than the original price because when you added 20% to the original price you added 20% to a smaller number uh, yeah, I mean you add 20% why are you adding 20% of a smaller number then later on 
you're taking down you're taking off 20 percent of a bigger number so you're taking a bigger one off so the final price will drop below the original price however way you take it that's what would happen right so the answer for 23 is c